Naushad Ali the 26th of December 1919 to the 5th of May 2006 was an Indian music director for Hindi films. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest and foremost music directors of the Hindi film industry. He is particularly known for popularizing the use of classical music in films. His first film as an independent music director was Prem Nagar in 1940. His first musical success film was Rattan 1944, following it up with 35 Silver Jubilee hits, 12 Golden Jubilee and 3 Diamond Jubilee mega successes. Naushad was conferred the Dadasaheb Falk Award and the Padma Bhushan in 1982 and 1992 respectively for his contribution to the Bollywood film industry. <laughs> Early life and education Naushad was born and raised in Lucknow, a city with a long tradition as a center of Indian Muslim culture. His father, Wahid Ali, was a munshi court clerk. As a child, Naushad would visit the annual fair at the Diva Sharif in Barabanki, 25 kilometers from Lucknow, where all the great kawals and musicians of those days would perform before the devotees. He studied Hindustani music there under Ostad Gurbat Ali, Ostad Yusuf Ali, Ostad Baban Saheb and others. He also repaired harmoniums. As a lad, he joined a junior theatrical club and was appointed the club's music maestro for their theatrical presentations. He used to watch silent films at the Royal Theatre in Lucknow. Theatre owners would hire a team of musicians to play the tabla, harmonium, sitar and violin. The musicians would watch the film first, make notes, finalize the scales required. When the show began in the evening, they would sit in front of the screen and play music for the scenes. This was a great way to be entertained and learn music at the same time. It made him grasp the nuances required in composing a film's background music score. In time Naushid formed his own Windsor Music Entertainers or just Windsor Entertainers, so named because he had seen the word Windsor around Lucknow and liked its ring. It led to the Indian Star Theatrical Company in a theatre at Golagunj Colony in Lucknow. He was trained under Latin Khan until he became capable of working independently as a composer. There he also developed the sense to pick rare musical jewels from the folk tradition of Punjab, Rajasthan, Gujarat and Saurashtra during the company's sojourns in those regions. The travelling players got as far as Varamgam in Gujarat, where they discovered penury, even after selling off theatrical props and musical instruments. The company limped back to Lucknow through the kindness of one of Naushid's friends. Naushid had already become a cinema fan in the silent era and then, in 1931, Indian cinema got voice and music that further fascinated the 13-year-old boy. But his family was strict follower of Islamic diktat of prohibition of music and his father gave him ultimatum to leave music if he wanted to stay at home. He ran away to Mumbai in late 1937 to try his luck as a musician. Career. In Mumbai, he initially stayed with an acquaintance from Lucknow UP at Kalaba and after a while, shifted to Dadar opposite the Broadway Theatre where he would sleep on the footpath. He assisted music director Ostad Jande Khan who was at the peak of his success those days, at a monthly salary of 40 rupees. The producer was a Russian and the studio was at Chembur. The film could not be completed. Naushid was a piano player so he worked as a pianist in composer Ostad Mushtaq Hussain's orchestra. He then polished off an unfinished film score and got a credit as assistant to Hussain. Then the film company collapsed. Composer Kemchand Prakash took him on as his assistant for the film Kanchan at Ranjit Studios at a salary of 60 rupees per month, for which Naushid remained extremely grateful and in interviews, he had called Kemchand his guru. His friend, lyricist D. N. Madhok, trusted Naushid's unusual talent for composing music and introduced him to various film producers. Chandulal Shah, the owner of Ranjit Studios, offered to sign Naushid for one of his forthcoming films. Naushid composed a thumri for this film, Bata de Koi Khan Gali Gay Shyam, but the film never got on the floors. He was assistant music director for the Punjabi film Mirza Sahib. 1939. He composed for his first independent film Prem Nagar in 1940 that had a story set in Kutch for which he did a lot of research into the folk music of the area. With A.R. Carter's film Nayi Dunia, 1942, he got first credit as music director 
and he began to work regularly for Carter Productions. He however had a flexibility that he could work outside Carter Productions and this arrangement continued ever after. He first got noticed with A.R. Carter's film Sharda wherein 13-year-old Saraya debuted with the song Panchi Ya for the playback for Heroin Medib. It was Rattan 1944 that took Naushid right to the top and enabled him to charge 25,000 rupees a film during those days. Film expert and author Rajesh Subramanian opines that Carter Productions spent rupees 75,000 in 1944 to make Rattan. The music by Naushid Saheb was such a phenomenal hit that the company earned 3 lakh rupees as royalty from gramophone sales in the first year. But his luck now based family remained against music and Naushid had to hide from his family the fact that he composed music. When Naushid got married, the band was playing the tunes of the super hit songs of Naushid's film Rattan. While Naushid's father and father-in-law were condemning the musician who had composed these songs, Naushid dared not tell them that it was he who had composed the music. From 1942 until the late 1960s, he was one of the top music directors in Hindi films. While he did less than a hundred films during his lifetime, 26 of those films celebrated Silver Jubilees 25 weeks run, 8 celebrated Golden Jubilees 50 weeks run, and 4 celebrated Diamond Jubilees 60 weeks run, inclusive count, a Diamond Jubilee film also celebrated Silver and Golden Jubilee. Naushid worked with several lyricists, including Shaquille Badayuni, Majru Sultanpuri, D. N. Madhok, Zia Sarhadi, and Kumar Barabankvi. Mother India 1957, for which he had composed music, was the first Indian film that got nominated for Oscar. In 1981, Naushid was awarded the Dadasaheb Falk Award for his lifetime contribution to Indian cinema. He composed the tunes of Taj Mahal, an eternal love story 2005, at the age of 86. Amongst his assistants, Muhammad Shafi, Jerry Amaldev and Ghulam Muhammad stand out prominently. Five films have been made on his life and work. Biographical books published are Dastan e Naushid Marathi by Shashikant Kinakar, Ajga Awat Man Mero, Gujarati, Hindi and Urdu biographical sketches in Shama and Sushma magazines, respectively, titled Naushid Ki Kahani, Naushid Ki Zubani. The last one was translated into Marathi by Shashikant Kinakar. Kinakar also came up with a book titled Notes of Naushid, which puts together some interesting anecdotes of Naushid's life. Naushid also composed background music for the TV serial Akbar the Great telecast in 1988 which was directed by Akbar Khan, brother of Hindi film stars Sanjay Khan and Feroz Khan is also The Sword of Tipu Sultan produced and directed by Sanjay Khan and Akbar Khan which was telecast in 1990 and became very popular. Topic Last Days Naushid died on 5 May 2006 in Mumbai. He was buried at the Juhu Muslim Cemetery. He is survived by six daughters Zubaydah, Thamida, Farida, Sayida, Rashida, and Wahida, and son Rahman Naushid, Raju Naushid, and Iqbal Naushid. Rahman Naushid, being the eldest of all, assisted him in some of his films. Also, Naushid composed music for two movies directed by Rahman Naushid, My Friend, 1974, and Terry Pyle Mir Geet. 1989. Naushid had requested the Maharashtra state government to sanction a plot for an institution for promoting Hindustani music. This was sanctioned during his lifetime and the Naushid Academy of Hindustani Sangeet was formed. Topic writer Naushid was also a respected and published poet and formally launched his book of Urdu poetry entitled Athwan Sir the Eighth Note and the Navras Labels album titled Athwan Sir, The Other Side of Naushid having eight gazals as part of Hounslow's book Fair and Festival Bookmela in November 1998. The album has lyrics and composition by Naushid, arranged by Utam Singh. Track list, Abadian Mine Dashed Ka Munzar B A Yega, A Haraharan 708 Aj Ki B A A T Kal Pe Kian Taalo, A Haraharan and Preeti Utam Singh 617 Gata Chai T Sawan Kul K Barsa, Preeti Utam Singh 719 Kabi Mary Yad Unko A A T I Ta Hogi, A Haraharan and Preeti Utam Singh 618 Muj Ko Muaf Kijia, A Haraharan 535 Pine Wale Bekuti Se Kam Lay, A. Haraharan and Preeti Utam Singh 813 Sawan K. Jab Bottle Chaya, A. Haraharan 650 Tanha Khud Se Baat Karun, Preeti Utam Singh 749 
Topic: <laughs> Music style. Naushid was known for his deft adaptation of the classical musical tradition for movies. For some movies like Baiju Bara, he composed all scores in classical raga modes and arranged for the well-known vocalist Amir Khan to be a music consultant for the film. He could easily work with Western instruments, including the clarinet, the mandolin and the accordion. He could incorporate Western musical idioms in his compositions and compose for Western-style orchestras. During the early 1940s, recordings were done in quiet parks and gardens after midnight because the studios did not have sound-proof recording rooms. In the gardens there would be no echo and disturbances, unlike the studios where the sound reverberated because of the tin roofs. For films like Yuran Kadola and Amar, he recorded the voice of a particular artiste on a scale of 90, then recorded it on 70, then on 50 and so on. After the complete recording, it was played for the scene and the impact it created was terrific. He was one of the first to introduce sound mixing and the separate recording of voice and music tracks in playback singing. He was the first to combine the flute and the clarinet, the sitar and mandolin. He also introduced the accordion to Hindi film music and was among the first to concentrate on background music to extend characters' moods and dialogue through music. But perhaps his greatest contribution was to bring Indian classical music into the film medium. Many of his compositions were inspired by ragas and he even used distinguished classical artists like Amir Khan and D.V. Palusker in Baiju Bara 1952 and Baid Ghulam Ali Khan in Mughal-e-Azam 1960. Baiju Bara 1952 demonstrated Naushid's grasp of classical music and his ability to bring it to the masses, for which he won the first Filmfare Best Music Director Award in 1954. Naushid commented on a pre-release meeting about Baiju Bara. When people heard that the film would be full of classical music and ragas, they protested, people will get a headache and they will run away, I was adamant. I wanted to change public taste. Why should people be fed what they like all the time? We presented them with music from our culture and it worked. For on 1952, he was the first to use a 100-piece orchestra. He was the first composer to have developed the system of Western notation in India. The notation for the music of the film on was published in book form in London. In Uran Kadola, 1955, he recorded an entire song without the use of orchestra, having replaced the sound of musical instruments with choral sound of humming. For Mughal-e-Azam 1960 song A Mahabit Zindabad, he used a chorus of 100 persons. He asked Lata Mangeshkar to render a part of the song, Pyar Kia to Darna Kya, in a bathroom that had glazed tiles and then recorded the music to get the echo effect. For Ganga Jamuna 1961, he used lyrics in chaste Bhojpuri dialect. He used just six instruments in the title song of Mir Mehboob 1963. In 2004, a colorized version of the classic Mughal-e-Azam was released, for which Naushid had the orchestral music specially re-created in Dolby Digital by today's industry musicians, while maintaining all the solo vocals from the original soundtrack. To elaborate, the playback vocals though not the chorus recorded four decades ago are mixed with orchestra tracks created in the present millennium. As Indian film music gradually assumed a western bend starting in the late 1960s, Naushid came to be considered old-fashioned. Composers who could compose rock and roll and disco-inflected music started getting increasingly popular. Naushid was still esteemed as a maestro, but his talents were sought mostly for historical movies where traditional scores were appropriate. Filmography Music director Topic: Non-film album. Othwin Sir, The Other Side of Naushid. This was a Ghazal album released in 1998 and had all its songs composed by Naushid and sung by Haraharan. Topic: Producer. Malik, 1958. Music director for this film was Ghulam Muhammad. Yuran Kadola, 1955. Babul, 1950. 
Topic: Storywriter. Palki, 1967. Terry Pyle Mir Geet, 1989. Topic: Awards and recognition. 1954 Filmfare Best Music Director Award, by Jubara. 1961 Bengal Film Journalists Association's Best Music Director Award for Gunja Jumna. 1975 Now Should Ali, a 30-minute documentary film produced by Television Center, Mumbai. 1981 Dada Saheb Falk Award. 1984 Lata Mangeshkar Award, Madhya Pradesh State Government's Award. 1987 Amir Khusro Award. 1992 Sangeet Natak Akademi Award. 1992 Padma Bhushan. Maharashtra Gaurav Puraskar. Best music for The Sword of Tipu Sultan. Topic: <laughs> Positions held. President of Cine Music Directors Association Chairman of Indian Performing Rights Society President of Maharashtra State Angling Association President of Alam e Urdu Conference Delhi The title of Special Executive Magistrate Mumbai <laughs> <laughs>